Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn how to create our first Google Assistant application using Dialogflow. But before that, I just want to take few minutes of time and clear a difference between Google Assistant and Actions on Google. So basically Google Assistant is a platform or application where all the actions will run. We can say that it will run all chatbot applications. Where on other side, Accents on Google allows you to extend Google Assistant functionality with your own logic and commands. User can create actions of their own like appointment scheduler or an action which can give info about their brand and many others. So now without wasting any time, let's see how can we create Google Assistant application. Open browser and move to console.accents.google.com. Make sure to log in with your Google account before this or it will ask you to do so. Now you can see access on Google console. Currently there is no project in this account so it is showing blank. Now click on new project. Yes, agree and continue. So we will be creating project about some cricket facts. Let me add the project name is cricket facts. Here are some other settings for language and regions. Hit create project. So now we have our first actions on Google project. You can see there are various options like games and fun, smart home, kids and family, etc. Google provides some predefined templates for games or smart home. You can select one of those for different purpose. We are creating our custom action, so select conversational from the list. Done. There we go. We are on the dashboard of our action. You can see various options like develop, test, deploy, analytics. We will see those later on when needed. First thing we will do is quick setup of an action. So first we will decide how it should be invoked. So I'm giving it a name as unknown cricket facts. This is basically a name through which user will enter to our action. Let's see how assistant will pronounce this. Unknown cricket facts. Okay, save it. Now we will integrate dialog flow to communicate with user and to get user commands. Click on actions and select get started. You can see multiple intents available there like get joke, get a quotation, play game and many others. We'll go on with custom intent, select it and build. It will redirect you to dialog flow. Login with your Google account. We'll allow permission in order to proceed. Okay, click on accept. Here you go. Now we are on Dialogflow console and we will create our first agent here. Check name and create it. So, so it is now created an agent in order to communicate with user commands. As you can see it has default intents. One is fallback and another is welcome intent. So what are intents? Intent can handle complete conversation. It includes user inputs and responses we are supposed to send back. Let's see welcome intent first so you can get idea what it is actually. Like you can see there are training phases. It will be the user inputs. Machine learning model will be developed using this phrases and whenever user is entering to our action or saying any of the training phases mentioned below this intent will be called here you can see responses they are the response which will be sent back to user whenever this intent is called let's test it so you can get clear idea we'll check it for google assistant first click on test and it will take you to the test simulator. Basically it is preparing a simulator and you will be redirected to the actions console itself.
Now let's invoke our action. Getting the test version of unknown cricket facts. Hi, how are you doing? Here it is, response of welcome intent. As you can see, one of the response was printed there. On devices having display, it will give you output wherein devices like Google Home, all those message messages will be read out. Now, what we'll do is we need to show some cricket fact whenever user is coming to our action. So we'll move to intents and inside welcome intent. Under responses, I'll paste few facts that I already copied down. Save it and there we go. Let's check it with simulator. Refresh it. We'll invoke our action. Getting the test there it is. Of One of the facts that we have added in welcome to play test cricket for India and England as safe Ali Khan's grandfather, Iftikhar Ali Khan Patauda. Let's invoke it again and see another fact. Getting the test version of unknown cricket facts. Chris Gale is the only batsman to hit a six off the first ball of a test match. As you guys have seen, whenever user invokes our action, it will take one response from multiple responses we have given in our intent. It will take random response from the list. Now suppose user wanted to listen it again and saying repeat it. Our action will not understand it and Can call callback again? intent. Here you can see it is giving random response from fallback intent. This intent is designed to catch all those inputs from users which we were unable to catch or mention in our intents. There you go with your first Google Assistant chatbot. You can add other details under deploy section and publish your first Google Assistant application. So that's it for this tutorial. Do share your actions in comment section.